What's up guys, my name is Guillaume and welcome to this new episode of Hit The Tone. Hello guys, I hope you're all doing fantastic today and welcome to this new episode of Hit The Tone on Tom Man's Guitars and Basses. If you're new around here, I'll link the playlist to all the videos in the description box down below. But basically what I do is take famous bits of songs and try to give you all the tools you need to hit the tone. The cool thing about it is that you get to choose what song I'm going to be covering next. If you just put it in the comment section down below, I'll get to you as soon as I can. And while you're already down there, you're so close to the like button, so close to the subscribe button, you should hit both. And then, you know, if you don't like the video, you can always unlike it later. But for now, you know, I, I trust me. And with that said, let's start with today's song, which is Tidal Wave by Tom Mish and Yusef Days. All right, so this song is out of Tom Mish and Yusef Days' latest album, latest collaboration, uh, what kind of music uh, came out in 2020, what they did with that super intimate, super organic sort of vibe going on between the guitar, the drums, and added, you know, bass and synth here and there. I, I think what they did was beautiful, and I love that song because of, of Tom's use of, of effects, essentially, <laughs> of what he did with vibrato and tremolo and delay, and then, oh. So I'm going to try and replicate that today, starting with the guitar. I am not exactly sure of which guitar he used in the studio, although I know that it sort of drifted a little bit away from the Strat on that project and focused on semi-hollow guitars. I think an Epiphone Casino. I am not 100% sure on that. Hopefully, some of you guys can let me know in the comment section. But I went for this uh, absolutely beautiful Gretsch, the Broadcaster. I've used it in the past. It's been in the studio ever since because I just can't get rid of it. I'll be using the bridge pickup uh, only on this song, but I'll be playing quite a bit with the volume and tone knobs on the guitar. So I think we're just gonna go through that with our amp and pedal setup. Now I've seen some pictures of, of Tom's pedal board and I have a certain understanding of what he, he uses. I don't have specific references though, because it tends to move quite a bit. There's always a lot of logic post effects I did as well. So I couldn't possibly tell you this is definitely that effect and this is definitely that effect. But I think we're in the right ballpark as soon as we start talking about vibrato, delay, reverb, tremolo. So for the chords in the background, I'll be using the Aqueduct by Earthquaker Devices, which is a vibrato, which is that wobble out of tune sort of thing happening. If you're not familiar with vibrato, that's how you could potentially describe it. I'll be using the Strymon Volante for my delay, which will be on on both parts, and the Strymon Flint uh, for the reverb on both parts. And the chords in the background are going to sound like this. looking at something that's really washy, something that's very much lo-fi. I'm going back to what I said earlier about playing with the volume and the tone knob. I think the volume was about, you know, half to three quarters of the way up. You want it to sound like it's almost not a guitar, it's just keys, and then the note goes in without that really high transient that you'd have with, you know, picking, essentially. And I had the tone knob rolled almost all the way back. There was still some of it to get some dynamics out of the higher notes, but you really want to lay something down in the background that's not going to come in the way of your lead part. Speaking of which, on my lead sound, I'm going to have, I'm going to keep the Strymon Volante for my tape delay, I'm going to keep the Flint for my reverb, and I'm going to add the tremolo side of it. I'll be in the 63 tube mode, so it's not a harmonic trem that I always use otherwise. This one is just a tremolo. 
tube tremolo and really intense. You want to hear the rate. You want, to, you want that to come through. Fairly slow, but still very pronounced. So tremolo on that, and I'll be boosting with the Ego compressor, not to get gritty, but to be sure that I stay on top of my chord progression in the background and to add just a little bit of texture to that, that lead sound. But in isolation, it's gonna sound like this. So I know this is a lot of pedals, and I know that this particular board, this particular selection is also a lot of money. But I really want to stress that, and I and always want to stress that, none of it is mandatory. All of these pedals are expandable. If you have Amplitube, if you have any other plugin, you can most definitely get a good reverb, a good trem, a good tape delay, and a good vibrato out of this plugin. There are many, many different ways of getting to somewhat the same result. So I'll be throwing a link in the description box down below to everything that I'm using right now and some more recommendations of the same kind of effects at different price points. Go check it out. And with all that said, let's go on to the final part of that video, which as usual is the most important and is how to play the song. Now the song is tuned in E standard, so nothing fancy on this side. I will be finger picking the whole thing. Again, because I think that's what he does. I'm not 100% sure I wasn't here in the studio. And also it kind of goes along with the uh, try and reduce that transient as much as possible. You don't want a lot of attack on these notes, but just the melody to sort of, you know, carry over with uh, the, the chords in the background. So let's first have a look at these chords, starting with the fretting hand. The cool thing is that it's not a fast melody, so you have time to put your fingers into position and to think of what chord is going to come next. That being said, the shapes are not the easiest ones. Uh, they're not the most complicated either, and I think the effects in that progression do a lot of heavy lifting as well. You could play it much more simply as well by just using, you know, major and one minor chord there, it would be pretty much the same thing. These are just nuances and things that you can introduce in that backing track that you're going to make for yourself. Let's just have a quick look at the picking side of it. Same thing here, nothing too fast. Uh, I chose to pick the strings because to me that's, that's what felt right, but I guess you could also just lightly strum them on this melody to get like a, a really cool result as well. Again, this is very much up to your own personal interpretation of it. There are so many people covering that song and just using different chords and different voicings of the same chords, and I think that's what makes it so so cool is that you can give it so many different flavors, right? With that said, let's have a look at the lead part starting with our fretting hand. It's a very simple lead part. There's, there's not much to it outside of that very groovy phrasing. You don't want to be robotic by, by doing that. The effects kind of keep you on your toes as well because that tremolo keeps like pulsing like that. You can't really be, you need to work with it, you know? And that's what creates that, that, whole, that whole groove. Add some drums to that and oh my. But it's such a nice jam just to get that loop going and, and improvise over it. I could do that for hours. But I'm not going to bore you with that, I'm going to show you the picking side of it. And 
And again, there's a lot of room for interpretation in there. I'm not saying you have to, to up or down pick this note or that note or whatever. You can even play it with a pick since you have a little bit more of, a, of an original attack on that lead part. But, you know, make it yours. I think it's just a really cool jam and overall a really cool song. And on these words, I think that's it, guys. You have all the tools you need to hit the tone on Tidal Wave by Tom Mish and Youssef Days. I really hope that you enjoyed that video. I hope that if you didn't know Tom Mish, now you do, and you're gonna be listening to a ton of it because it's just, he's, he's such a phenomenal artist. I really love what he does. If you like that, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel, that helps us a lot. Don't forget to let me know in the comments which song you'd like to see here next, and I'll get to you as soon as I can. In the meantime, I wish you a fantastic week and I'll see you next Monday in a new episode of Hit The Tone.